still using 2D CAD for layouts, we at Lino think that this is an insufficient approach for a demanding task. When we look into such a layout, we see that it might have a complexity which needs better tools. 3D Layout from Lino is an easy to use tool to create real 3D layouts within SOLIDWORKS. Look into this factory hall. On the right hand side, there is something left to fill. The basic idea behind Lino 3D Layout is to find your layout components in the library on the right. We can navigate in a hierarchical structure or search by keywords. When we type in RO, for instance, we'll get also a robot hit. Here we can get some additional information and view pictures of it. Now we are looking for conveyors because we need a chain of them here. Then we take the conveyor and add it by drag and drop. Note that this part is configurable. The Tacton configuration dialog pops up and let me configure the parts to my needs. This means also that this sample from the library is good for thousands of variants, all derived from the same SOLIDWORKS part. Think about how to solve this in pure SOLIDWORKS. Now we need a four conveyor. We choose it from the library and add it to the first conveyor. You now see a chain global parameter at work. The width adapts to the width of the straight conveyor. We add a curve now and set the angle to 135. Let's say we forgot an element in the chain, so we split the chain here to add some more space for an additional item. We add a sort out machine and rearrange the chain. As you can see, it is easy to snap the elements together. The mates are created in the background. This radius here seems too narrow for a speed belt. Of course, we can reconfigure every item in this layout at any time. At the fork, we need another conveyor. We add it here. Okay, we see that the belt direction is the wrong one. We fix the chain with the anchor symbol and then we turn this chain element with a mouse click. Need some more stuff. We add a crane with a trolley. here and configure it. A length of 8 meters should be sufficient. Then we add 5 columns and check that we don't have a collision with the conveyor and this crane column here. Ok, this looks perfect so far. We need almost the same chain a second time. For doing this, we select the chain and then use the button Copy Components. The chain will be sent to the Lino 3D Layout Clipboard. From there, we take it and add it to the existing layout with the drag and drop operation. It is important to understand that we now have an independent copy of the chain. So now we are going to change the length of the first conveyor to 6 meters without influencing the original conveyor. Again, we see a chain global parameter at work. We reduce the belt width to 500 in one of the chain elements and it's inherited to all chain elements but lets the original chain unchanged. You may believe now that Lino 3D Layout makes a complex task easy. Ask for your demo version today.